Hey everyone, my name is Kirsten. I'm a technical educator intern here at Web3 Foundation. And today we're gonna to be talking about governance proxies. So governance proxies are solely used to participate in governance on behalf of a primary user account. A governance proxy can take part in anything governance related, whether that's transactions from council, democracy, technical committee, and treasure modules. All right. So you might be wondering, how does a governance proxy work? And let's say that you have a primary user account, or in other words, a stash account, and that account has a large amount of tokens on there. However, when participating in governance, you don't want to risk your stash account because it has so many tokens on it. So this is where a governance proxy comes in handy. All right. And so now we're going to see how to uh, set up how to use the governance proxy. So first, we want to head over to polkadot.js.org slash apps. And right now, I'm in the accounts tab. So if you go to accounts and click on accounts here, it will bring you to this page. And on this page, you can see all of your accounts. You can see the type of accounts they are, and you can see all of the balances uh, for the, each of the accounts. And to change your network, it's up here at the top. Right now, I'm on Kusama. So we're going to head over to Developer, Extrinsics. OK, and now it's time to set up the actual governance proxy. So I'm going to choose an account to basically use as my stash account or my primary user account. Um, I'm going to go with this account. All right. And now we're going to choose the proxy palette, and that will give us access to all of the, the functions that come with proxy. So I'm going to choose that. And here we can see all of the functions that are inside of that palette. So I want to click on add proxy because I want to add a, a governance proxy. And this right here, um, this is the new account. So this is the new account that gets uh, set as the governance proxy. So this primary user account will be sending funds to your governance proxy here. So you can choose what, what account you want. Um, I'm just gonna choose this account as my governance proxy. And then in the proxy type, I'm going to set it to governance. And then I would hit submit transaction. I'd enter in my password. And then I would click sign and submit. And that's how you set up a governance proxy.